Hello guys, Playstime Hunter here. Today I'm going to be showing off my PS2 games. These are in no specific order, so let's just get started. First one is Rygar, the Legendary Adventure. Adventure. Uh, there's also, this started with a PS, or NES copy, or NES game I mean, and uh, went on to this. This I have not played yet. I got it months ago at a uh, indoor flea market type of thing out of town for two dollars. It was worth the price. I had heard good things about it. I also got this really cool, uh, you know, one of these things. It's complete too, so that was an awesome thing. Like I said though, I haven't really played it. I mean, I've played some of it and it seems really good, but just haven't really got into it. Shining Force EXA, one of my favorite games. Uh, very awesome RPG game. It's I mean, it's not like the Shining Force from uh, how it used to be back on the Genesis, and there was one on the Saturn. I haven't played that one. But it's not like that. It's different, but it's still a very awesome RPG. Klonoa 2, Lunatea's Veil. One of my favorite games also. I mean, this game is, like, so freaking amazing. I love Klonoa. I don't have the PS1 copy of uh, Door to... Phantomil? Phantomil? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I can't remember. But I don't have a PS1 copy. I do have the Wii, Wii Remake, though. Next two games. Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2. You know, everyone knows about Kingdom Hearts. Both I mean, both of these are freaking amazing. Uh, if I had to pick one, though, I'd have to go with the original Kingdom Hearts, just because it's the original, and for some reason, original will always hold more for me than uh, sequels. But that's just me. Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 2, and Devil May Cry 3. All three are amazing games. I like the third one best, though. I don't know why. Just something about the third one was great. And uh, it's still my favorite. Uh, even, like, Devil May Cry 4 is alright, but not really that amazing. I have the the uh, HD remakes of these on the PS3 as well. Jack, Jack, or Jack and Dexter, Jack 2... And Jack 3. <coughs> Sorry about that. All three of these are really awesome. Especially the first one. The first one's my favorite. Like I said, I have a thing about originals. This it's something about me, I don't know. But I have to say that the third one is very awesome. Like it's very right next up to the uh, first game. Cause both these two are actually more like action event or action games in a way, like guns blazing and stuff like this. And this is more of like a free roam action adventure platformer etc etc very awesome game though uh... this one is one of my, is my favorite out of the trilogy oh and there's also the lost frontier but i don't have that on a ps2 copy i have a uh, psp game next are actually games that are just kind of sad because i don't have the other ones uh... slide two man of thieves i had the first one but some like something happened i uh... yeah i don't remember and then Ratchet and Clank, and then Ratchet and Clank, uh, I mean, sorry, Ratchet and Clank Golden Commando, and then Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. I do not have the first game, something happened to it too. And then I also don't have the collection for those on the PS3, I just never got that. I went to get it, and then I had GameStop didn't have it last year, so I ended up picking up Eternal Sonata on the PS3 instead, which was a very awesome pickup, but still. Spyro, A New Beginning, and Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. I do not have Eternal Night in a PS2 form. I have a Game Boy Advance copy, which isn't that great, but you know, still. No, these games aren't really that bad. It's just, I don't like Sierra, or, um, well, Sierra did this, but I'm sure, was Sierra bad on this too? I don't think so. Okay, well, Sierra did this, and I don't know exactly who all did this, um, it's different for this, but I don't. But still, I don't care. I, it's still not right. It's not what Spyro was like back on the PS1. It's not what Insomniac had it, but you know, whatever. Full Metal Alchemist. Picked this up from the indoor flea market. I picked up Rygar. I got it for two dollars. Very good price. And you know, I've been. It was actually funny. Like on the way down there, I was like, I really wish I could get my hands on a Full Metal Alchemist game. And then I ended up just finding it. I know, I got really lucky like that, but... Yeah, I seem to get lucky a lot sometimes with games. It's cool. This is a game I got a very long time ago at Roses. 
believe it or not. I don't know if any of you uh, have heard about Rose's the store. It's like a small store. I don't know how many like there are or anything. But it's Magic Pen Gel, the Quest for Color. And in this game, you actually draw your own creatures to battle in tournaments and stuff like that. And you have to use like actually like color like red you have so much red green paint etc etc and you can win paint by doing like a free tournament thing it's very awesome I actually really enjoy this game I consider it one of the uh, honestly I consider it to be like a hidden gem on the PS2 for personally because I think it's just an overall very awesome game I heard about there was like a sequel to it or maybe like a spiritual uh, successor and there I can't remember what game that was but I don't have that I don't know if it's uh, any good or not. So. Um, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Very awesome game. I haven't played a whole lot of it. I just picked it up from GameStop a while back. Uh, I think it was last year sometime. But honestly, guys, I'm not a, a huge Mortal Kombat fan. Like, I like the games, but I'm not, like, overly obsessed with them. But, you know, I, I got the game for, like, $2, so I couldn't really pass it up. It was one of those games that GameStop had that were still good as PS2 games, because, you know, they're not taking them now. Or, they weren't. I'm pretty sure they're still not. Vex. Something I got off of Amazon for $5. Very awesome, though. I actually really enjoyed this game. Uh, haven't really got, like, amazingly far into it. I just really enjoy it. It's a good platformer. Looks like it has a lot of good levels. And, yeah. Something I used to rent a lot as a kid. Uh, something else I use to run a lot, actually, and I have the, uh, copy that the, uh, rental store had, because I bought it from them, and that is Whiplash. Complete, too. Uh, not an actual PS2 case, but I can live with that. I can always trade that out later. But Whiplash is actually very cool, like, you're in a factory, uh, and there's, like, experiments going on, like, mixing animals together, like, fusing them, and you are a, um... Uh, not really sure. Sorry about that, guys. My phone started ringing, and yeah. So anyway, Whiplash. You are... I, I don't really know, um... I can't tell what you are exactly. You're that guy, and you have a rabbit chained to your, um, hand, I think, or arm, and you, like, swing them around to hit the guys, and do cool stuff like break things and it's actually a really awesome game like you're trying to like break out animals that are being experimented on I really enjoy this game it's a very awesome game Skeller Skeller is also a very good game uh not I'm not like overly big on the game but it is a good game and I appreciate that it's very different as far as just the way it plays um it's kind of like an action adventure game and it's very I don't know, it, it's one of those games that, I guess, maybe you're, it's a hit and miss. Like, you know, some people may like it, some people may not. Uh, you're a guy who walks into your neighbor who is doing experiments, and his experiment actually turns you into a li um, well, lizard, and you get transported to this other world. And you can actually, like, beat things up like with your claws and your tongue and stuff like that. It's actually pretty awesome. And, yeah. Urban Rain, something I picked up at GameStop for a dollar, I think it was like a dollar twenty, dollar thirty. It's because GameStop's, you know, doing their 75% off sale. And that's been, uh, over a while ago that I did this. But, you know, it's not that bad of a game. It's a fighting game. I haven't got overly big into this. I've only played it off and on because I can't take a whole lot of it at one time. But, it's a decent game for the price. Disgaea 2, something I was very happy to pick up. This is actually my first adventure into Disgaea, period. Like, I never played the first game. I have it digitally. I don't have the actual physical form, which I don't like, but whatever. So I actually got this at GameStop because, you know, again, 75% off. I got it for $5. It was worth it. I was willing to take a chance. And I'm so happy I did because I actually found out that I really enjoyed the series. And now I have all of them except for, um... So I don't have any of, like, the PSP remakes or the DS remake of the first game, and I don't have the physical form of the D first game, so yeah. But other than that, I have everything. Uh, 
not being I can't get this guy off five though because I don't have a PS4. Just saying that. Tetris Worlds. Now the funny thing about this is I, there's actually and I don't know why I look, I tried to find out there's like two different versions of this like cover art wise. There's this one and there's another one that's all like blocky and colored. I don't know why uh, GameStop had both, but since I've actually seen less of this one, I actually decided just to, you know get this one, not the other one. So yeah, not bad though. Uh, Tetris, you know Tetris is awesome. Silent Hill 2, very, yeah, I mean, it's Silent Hill 2, it's an awesome game, I haven't, I have to admit though, I haven't played a lot of this, because, and I hope you guys understand, I don't want to get into Silent Hill, unless I can get the first game on the PS1, I don't want no digital version, I want the real thing, but I want to get the first Silent Hill game and play through them by, you know, like, Silent Hill, Silent Hill 2, you know, chronological order and whatnot. So I haven't really played a lot of this. I've been holding off so I can get a PS1 copy of the first game. So, yeah. But I've heard very awesome things, and I've heard that this is very the uh, best games in the series. So I'm looking forward to when I do sit down and play this. Uh, next game is actually something I got free. Toys, yeah, was Toys R Us was doing this... Uh, sale thing where if you bought so many items you got like free items and this one was actually a free item which is really weird but whatever and this is puzzle challenge crossword i haven't played a lot of this i'm not very into crosswords at all i've played very little but you know it's a free ps2 game it's something to stash in my collection so something else i got at the indoor flea market and that is something i've been wanting to play for a while actually but neopets the darkest fairy now, I have to say, I haven't played a lot of this, even though I wanted to play it. It's just I got uh, sidetracked and a lot of games and videos and stuff like that. Now, it's something I want to get into, something I'll get done and, you know, probably uh, review for RPG Month, which is quite a bit away, but still. The Haunted Mansion, based off the movie, only slightly, because it's not really, ha it doesn't really have anything to do with the movie, but it is a good game. I, uh, it's actually pretty creepy, I have to say. It's, it's something that I would, uh, love to review for Horror Month, which is happening at this moment. And, yeah. So, honestly, guys, it's something that I would recommend. I would, I mean, I would really, really recommend this game. Shepherd's Crossing. Something I haven't played a lot of. I got it for free. But, it seems like something cool. It's like an RPG game mixed with, um, farming elements. So that seems cool. I just, you know, haven't got around to it. I, um, you know, it, it seems cool, though. Zatch Bell, Momoto Battles. Something else I picked up at the indoor flea market. Now this I was actually really excited to get my hands on. It's a, um, fighting game, which I find to be very cool. I think it's an awesome thing. And, I mean, I don't know, uh, Zatch Bell. I love Zatch Bell. I think it's just a very cool anime, and yeah. It, it's freaking Zatch Bell. I was happy to get my hands on this. I just, actually, the funny thing is, I had just talked to someone about wanting to get one of these games. Okay, the next stack, like, the next stack of games aren't really games that I've played a lot of. It's just games that I own from childhood and whatnot, so. Uh, these two I've actually played a quite a bit of, though, I will admit, and that is Star Wars and Star Wars, I mean, Lego Star Wars and Lego Star Wars 2. Uh, not a big Star Wars fan, but these games are very awesome. I'm not a big Lego fan, e fan either, but still, these games are awesome. I would recommend getting them. Uh, if anything, I would recommend getting the Star Wars, uh, I don't know, I think it's like Star Wars Trilogy or something. I can't remember exactly. It's, um, it's like a compilation of all these, of both of these games put in one. I have it on the Wii, though, actually. Lego Indiana Jones 2, or Lego Indiana Jones, not the second one, sorry. I uh, haven't played a lot of this, not a very big Lego Indiana Jones fan. Madagascar 2, Escape to Africa. I haven't played a lot of this either. Uh, this one I played some of, uh, played through it at one time, and it was actually decent. And that was the Spiderweb Chronicles. Monster House, I barely played any of because the PS2 game is actually kind of screwed up, like glitches and stuff, but whatever. And the last game is Wallace and Gromit and Project Zoo. Not that bad of a game, honestly. 
from what I remember, but it's something I don't think I'd actually go through and play today. <laughs> it's something I played through as a child. So yeah. Anyway, guys, that is my PS2 games. I hope you have enjoyed. I was actually meaning to get these out a lot sooner. Just things came up. I hope you guys uh, keep watching, and I will be doing more videos like this soon, showing off my collections. I got, you know, GameCube and Wii and stuff to show off. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, sub, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.